and we are live. Other than the fact that I still have this bad mic, but it's it's functional enough. Until I sort this issue, I'm kind of stuck with whatever. Stuck with this for now. Oh, nope. That. Where's the audio? There's just no audio on the menu here right now. That's kind of confusing me. Like, there's, there's the... There's me tabbing, but... There's no other audio. Oh, now there is. So I need to remember how to play. Because it has been a while. So we got our menu here, we got or we got our missile launcher, we got fireballs, we got bubbles, and the machine gun that I accidentally got, because I could I could have probably could have kept the shooter. But instead I guess we got a machine gun now. Uh last time Alright, I should actually move my chat so I can see it. Be a good idea. Uh last time we I can't remember what we did. We rescued all your doggos. Please, please stop them. They'll unreach rapid mimica possessed by the red flower against the surface. Okay. It's been a while since I played, so, like, I think these are really all the controls I need to worry about. And I can, yeah, left and right switch weapons. Okay. So where do I need to go? I don't even know where I'm going right now, pretty much. Every weapon's at max. I'm guessing I go down here somewhere. Oh, great, though I did, now I have the ability to fly. Like that. Seems like a pretty useful skill. Yeah, that's a really, really, really useful ability. Ah! Oh, right, I can't fly now. Yeah. Well, back to... Back to start, I guess. Get some health from these. And get our weapon leveled up again, hopefully. Nope. Okay. Not a big deal. Oh, wow! Really? I want to get a freaking level up so I can do the flying again. It's the flying makes this game so much more less inconvenient. Insta death spikes. It's in here, right? Yep. Great doctor. 
All the red flower seeds have been harvested. Good. By the way, flowers blooming there. Are they the demon flowers? Yes, sir. Well, well. Such an ominous flower. Unexpected, to say the least. My great doctor, would you like to eat one? No, that won't be necessary. Well, why don't we sample it by using a Mimica instead? Yes, I agree! Ugh. Huh? Here? Ah! Hey! Where are you going? I don't, e I don't even remember the voices I used for these, if anything. Balrog. Make her eat a red flower. Got it. Please don't! Eat it! Eat it! Stop now. Horka, are you alright? King? Ugh, my head. No! You're that doctor! Indeed. I am the doctor. And your new leader. I should say it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Tell me, is there something you'd like to do with that sword of yours? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! Without the power of the red flower, they are weak. You're that persistent soldier from the surface. You have perfect timing. They're all yours, a small gift from me to you. <laughs> There's no need for you to thank me. Handle them, will you? Oh. Oh, well, that was quick. That was exceedingly quick. Um, I'm just gonna really quickly check one thing. Pretty much making sure that I've actually. There we go. And let's, uh. Yeah, so. Uh, hey there, Flashy. You basically. You missed me making it to a boss and dying immediately. Damn it! This is what happens when I rush. Get to level three so I can do the flying. It's the moment I can do that. It's the moment killing all these enemies becomes a lot. Well, on top of it getting easier, it just. If at first you don't succeed, rage and throw the controller. Yeah, I mean. I like to think I don't do that anymore, but I probably still do, effectively. Okay. Why? 
Did I stop like hitting spikes left, right, and center? Well, we're not using this weapon for the boss. So I think that's kind of obvious. Okay, we we saw this. Let's re let's skip past it all. Can I skip this with like a button? No, I can't. Okay. So let's just, uh, yeah. Get past this. Beat the crap out of this boss. Awful at this. Jesus. That's the conclusion I'm coming to right now that I'm absolutely awful at this game. Holy shit. This is the fact that he throws stuff at me, and if I'm in the air, it knows exactly where I'm gonna be, so it's like next to impossible to dodge if I'm in the air. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad at the game, which is probably the case. But, still. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna get hit from, like, that. Okay. Just, just avoid everything. Avoid as much as possible. If I can come in here with a fully upgraded machine gun, I can probably make it through this. The thing is, I don't find this game terribly hard, usually. It's just got... When it does get hard, it gets really hard. There we go. Might be my first time making it to this boss without... with full HP. There we go. Full HP and an upgraded machine gun. <laughs> there has to be a way to skip this. Or I guess not. We'll just mash... we'll just mash through it. Again. Good way to start off my stream. Die to the same boss, I think, three times now? Or is this two times? It really only has one attack, which makes it not that bad.
You know what? Yeah, now that now that I I've got the patterns down, I think. Oh wow. Problem is is when he's on a ledge like that. Yeah, that's the big problem is when he's higher up. He can throw it and it'll hit like in front of you a bit and then you just have to you can't adapt to that in time it feels like. There we go. <laughs> Defeated Rabid Torico. Wait, she... We, they died? Did, uh, no! I didn't want to kill. Can't help you anymore. Will you avenge me? Wait, they both died? the blade. Holy shit, it's Cave Story. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah! Immediately get crushed. Thank you, Billy65498, for the follow. Sorry. <laughs> We're still alive. There was one back then, too. A tough little robot like you. There'll be no end to this if we try to take you head on. I'm sending you to the labyrinth. And you, too. Eh? <laughs> that was refreshing. Hit the ground floor. Where is this place? No response. You were thrown down here by the witch, Misery, too. Poor little guy. The island's junk is stored here. Once you're in here, you'll never be able to get out. The switch for this door is supposed to be all the way up top, but the footing's real bad. I've fallen so many times that I've broken my leg. There has to be a way for me, a place for me to heal around here. Wow, I'm gonna die here. Rip in peace. I don't remember this game ha like having places like this. My memory of this game is foggy enough that I don't recall enough about the actual game, so... There we go. Ah! Actually, that's not that big of a deal. I know it's it's there so that you can actually get up here, but still. You want to open the door? There 
we go. Is there any possible, like, maybe power-ups I missed here? I feel like I might have missed something. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's save. And then go in the door here. Fuck are you? No response. Mangled remains of a robot. Okay, so you can see I think this one of these is gonna move along the tracks. We go from 1 to 2 to W. So that might be a Roman numeral that I'm just not remembering. Could be. I should be leveling up this knife. It's actually, it seems like it's going to be really hard to level up this weapon. There was a house here I should check out. Wait, are these... They're not hostile. Okay. This is ages ago. A witch lived alone in solitude here on this island. That witch would ultimately use her magic to create this labyrinth and confine us gaudy within. Okay, here's lore, so I need to talk to all these people. Gah, I want to eat Mimiga. What's that scent? I faintly smell Mimiga on you. Ever seen the outside of this island? It's floating high up in the sky. How the island happens to float. The secret to that is hidden deep inside this labyrinth. That teleporter there, it was working before, hmm? Well, even when it was working, its destination point was someplace in the labyrinth. A way out of the labyrinth does exist. However, the path leading to the exit is obstructed by a single boulder. Not even sure if the exit can be reached after moving the massive piece of rock. Hi, this is the labyrinth shop. Unfor unfortunately, a burglar broke in recently and took everything, so I don't have anything to sell you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ah, look, I'll give you this. It's free, no charge. You don't have any money anyway, right? What is the turbo charge? Speeds up the rate of ammo recovery. Oh, yes, please. Um, basically, I think I screwed up earlier on by accepting the trading in my pea shooter for the machine gun. And um, uh, if I didn't, this guy probably would have had a trade. I can do my gun for his gun or something. But since I have the machine gun, he just gave me a turbocharger, which is still really useful. It turns this from something that's merely okay into I can run out of ammo and be ready to shoot again in like a second. 
okay, more than a second, but exceptionally faster than it was before. Okay. So leveling up this weapon makes its damage greater, but its range smaller, it seems like. That's interesting. Oh wait, does it just get straight up worse as you level it up? Yeah, it's it's a wider blade. Wait, is that Torico? That's Torico. Okay, now this weapon got really cool. So we're actually channeling Torico's soul to attack enemies. What the hell? locked. It's a medical room. Okay. Got arms barrier. Weapon energy lost from sustaining damage is halved. Okay. So our weapons level down slower. Seems really good. This seems like an interesting weapon. Also, I like the fact that it doesn't, like... It's you. Again. I like the fact that it can pierce. So we got all our weapons at max now, which means I'm probably gonna go back to this. I'm a physician. Allow me to take care of you. Don't worry, I won't take your money. In exchange, please accept a simple request from me. There's an old clinic nearby. Go there and see if there's any medicine left inside. I'm a nurse. I worked at the clinic nearby, but a dark ghost began haunting it, so I ran away and came here. Hi! Long time no see. You look great! So you were warped down here by that witch misery. Me too! Even you weren't able to succeed against them. I did have a tiny bit of hope. Like you, I tried my best, and this is where I ended up disappointed in myself. When it comes down to it, I couldn't protect them. With this body in this shape, getting out of here is going to be next to impossible. Okay. The house is up there. Treasure chest obtained the cure all. Oh, it's you. You're just covered in dust and dirt. Oh, or not.
It's not even a boss. Just trying to get some HP, pretty much. Okay, back in the clinic. There we go. Oh, you found it! Thank you, and sorry for the trouble. Please leave the rest to me. This is the legendary labyrinth. I don't know who built it, but it must be for some kind of trash collection. There's only one way to escape. You would have to move a massive rock that's found inside a separate chamber. I'd go with you, but in my current state, I'll be more of a burden than a help. Okay, so I guess we can't do anything else here unless you have something new to say. Nope. Okay, so let's head out, and then I'll come back in and see if something changed. Yeah, she's gone. Oh, they have a tell for when they're gonna shoot. I didn't- I just noticed that now, they change colors. Okay, so now we just continue on through this area, I guess. This is a boss just waiting to happen. Or is it? Really feels like it's a boss fight. need to hit. I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Oh, because I actually am. I'm actually not doing anything. That would, that would explain it. Because I'm not actually attacking the main body. I don't remember this being in the game. Okay, so what do we gotta do now, once it opens up next time? Okay, I've got the gist of that now. I, I wasn't sure because I wasn't really, I didn't feel like I was getting good feedback there at the start. 
I couldn't really see what was like what I was attacking, what I was hitting. Now I can see. Probably use the bubble as a good weapon in this case. Okay, this is, uh... God damn it! Jesus, this is a hard fight! Think you should use the fireball? The best for elevated enemies? <sighs> this is a hard one! There's just so much going on during it. The leveled up knife is, yeah, it's a really good one for this. I get one hit in and then I can just dodge for the rest of it, it seems like. Yeah, I, I know I'm I know you're joking. Even the platforming is hard. Oh, there's more damage. Again. Uh, but, oh, well, we fell again. Oh, it's going to be fun going through this now that I can't... Uh, I can't do the, uh, the, the levitate thing. get to level 3 right now. I'm just taking, like, awful damage left, right, and center. These enemies are fucking annoying as hell when you kill- when it takes so long to kill them. Luckily, I can just stand here and grind experience. Or not. I actually kill accidentally killed it.
actually kind of really hard to switch weapons on the fly. Oh, cool, cool. Just decided to do it from over there this time. Oh my god. Attempt four. I don't feel, I don't like how I feel like I'm just slamming my head against the wall until things go in my favor. No, uh, what I noticed is that when it does that attack, it will always stop when you're in the middle of it. It'll keep doing that thing until you're in the middle, and then it'll stop and do that. But that was one of the times where I guess it just didn't. So let's play this. Play this slow. God damn it. I say and then immediately get hit. getting pissed off at these enemies. The fact that they can shoot through so much stuff. Okay. Let's play this slow. Prioritize the whole dodge part. Now we're at the second phase. There we go. Oh! Defeated Monster X. Do it slow. D and then a blushing anime girl. Oh my fucking god. Get out of here. Actually, don't get out of here, please. Please stay. I need the... I need the attention. I'm going to go back and get a heal real quick. And by get a heal, I mean probably die on the way back. She'll be much better very soon, it's all thanks to you. Oh, that was hard, but I did it. And now all the enemies are back again, so I can lose my weapon levels all over again.
just stand here, wait until I get my full ammo back. Now we can actually continue on. Oh, there's just a door here. Huh? Oh no. Goodbye. Of course there's a healing point right here. made it! I've been waiting for you to get here all this time. This rock has moved, we can continue onwards to the labyrinth exit. Rumor has it there's a creature lair up ahead. Be prepared for anything. Well then, let's move this boulder to the side. Hold that end and then... So, let's go! Won't move at all. Maybe it's impossible to move with only the two of us. Oh yeah! Hey, it's you! <laughs> so you are alive, and on top of that, you two are trying to escape from the labyrinth. Shouldn't you be resting instead of trying to make an escape? Remember that you can't defy the master any more than I can. Fine then, I'm ending this. Just stay here with the rest of the scrap metal. Oh, this is perfect! You can grab the middle! Ready? Uh, are you two listening to me at all? So close to doing this flawlessly. <laughs> Beat it again. Move the rock for you, but in return, keep the fact that I helped move it for you a secret. Don't you worry. Here goes. Got it? Me helping you guys. It's our little secret. Right. He might actually be one of the good guys. Missiles are powered up. Woo. I feel like I should go explore where that random thing fell down earlier. Uh. Oh. Why are you here? See, misery sent you down here too. <laughs> this might be good luck arising from misfortune. Thing is, this island floats in the sky because of some kind of life force. We recently uncovered the location of that life force. Somewhere in this labyrinth lies that life force. If it can be destroyed, then the functions of the island might just cease. <laughs> right about now, I think the doctor should surely be in a huge panic. You were sent into the heart of this island. Here, take this. Booster. This little machine will help you fly into the air. You can hover while airborne by pressing the jump. Subscreen to equip and un unequip. Thought I was in big trouble the moment I caught air, but thanks to that I was able to see you. Looks like with this I've used my la my last bit of good fortune. Best of luck. Oh, he died also. So we should equip that booster. There we go. Everyone is dying now. Like, early on, no one was dying, and now everyone's dying.
Wait, you're with us? Yo! That's cool as shit that you're helping us out. Also, this music is cool as hell. Gonna be a shame when we have to kill her. Oh, my missiles got downgraded. Everything got downgraded. I'm also about to die, so... I'd say that's debatably, debatably not good. I just want to get all these, just get as much experience and stuff as possible. Because if I can hit level 3 for any of these, because we're, we got le like a couple of our weapons aren't doing so hot. Yeah, this is going a lot better now, I would say. So we got... We gotta level up our sword and our fire a bit more. Okay. 
Well, we... There's a button. Press it. Oh, a teleporter. Teleporter's finally functioning properly again. Anyway, big deal. It's final destination's midway through the labyrinth. Which name Jenka locked us in here? It's not like she hates us. The reason she put us in the labyrinth is to protect some kind of secret kept in here. But we gotta have bad memories, so we forget what we're protecting. Sorry. Okay, so let's just save quick. And then we'll go back. What the fuck are you? Let's just deal with it this way. Okay, there we go. Everything's maxed up now. Did I miss any secrets by any chance? I don't know. I'll find out, I guess. Dark place. Are we still in the labyrinth? Can't pass through here. Gonna have to keep moving forward. Hear the sound of running water from the other side. You'd be able to pass through if the gates weren't in the way. That doesn't destroy them. We do need to level up our missile launcher a bit more, too. Ah, oh, fuck. If I remember correctly, this is where the branching path happens. Between good end and, like, between the best ending and a good ending. So maybe I should check real quick and make sure that I'm not going to screw this up. Because I don't want, like, as blind as it is, as mostly blind as this is, because I have played this game before, but it's been a while. I don't want to miss out on an ending and then have to redo the entire game in order to do it again, get it again. Okay, so let's, uh... Ch -ch -ch. Yeah. Ch -ch -ch. Just a bit more... Yeah. Oh. Oopsies. Never mind. 
I already screwed myself out of getting the best ending because I took the booster. Because I took this, we can't get the best ending anymore. So there's pretty much no point in worrying about endings anymore at this point. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. If you don't take this booster, later on you can get a better one, which you need in order to access the ultimate dungeon. The end, get the final dungeon. So we're kind of screwed now. So basically, I'm just going to do whatever at this point, because there's not really much else I can do. This is a strange place. Is it some kind of base? Opening blast door. Blast door malfunctioning. probably go back here. Now. Blast door after blast door. There's something behind all this crazy security. Don't you think so too? So, how do I get through this though? Check this again, maybe. Yeah, lower lift. So yeah, I screwed myself out of the good ending by getting that, apparently. Last door. And I guess we're... Feels awful. I feel like I need to restart the entire game because of that one interaction. There's absolutely no way of knowing that taking this item will lock you out of the good ending. It's one of these games that's kind of like so many arbitrary... Broken robot. Its exterior has sustained an incredible amount of damage. Look! Soldier from the surface? He's been nearly destroyed. There are others like this one all over the place. Who did this? Couldn't have been a Mimica. How could this happen? It's still functional. Rebooting. Team 9 terminated. Unable to eliminate the target. Destruction of target is impossible with currently equipped firepower. Retreat. Retreat. Well, too late. This isn't a very hard boss right now, though. Other than the fact that now I'm finding it impossible to actually make it to him.
There we go. You did it? Ah, how? Hey, that's the same witch who zapped me. Are those children safe? Shut it. Don't act like you're a mother. Do you even know what this thing is? Huh? This is the reason why I hate robots. This is the heart of the island. The island will fall if this stops. Do you really want to die along with the island, you stupid fool? Isery, what are you doing? Move the core to the lab now. Well, you still have time. Whoa. Um, um, losing consciousness can breathe. No. God damn it. Please, please, please. Don't, don't. No, please, please let me carry her. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. First, I accidentally screw myself out of the good ending, and then she dies. Lovely. Might even die anyway. Uh, well, I'm getting gut punched right now. I'm being punished for accepting this booster that I didn't even actually need because I was. Feels like the criteria for the true ending are just kind of silly ultimately. Don't accept this power up. Don't accept this power up. Don't uh don't talk to this person. Don't trade your weapon for this weapon, because you'll get you'll have to trade it for another weapon later on that you need to get the final dungeon. It's just like there's a billion little things that make it really annoying. I suspect she would have died either way. No, I'm pretty sure, uh... I'm pretty sure you- there's an- yeah, and we're dead. I'm pretty sure she doesn't die if you do things differently, but you have absolutely no way of knowing that you can even do things differently. It's a really good game. But the way to get the true ending is, like, use a guide or do, like, seven playthroughs to figure it out.
because as much as I like this game, that's one of the things I disliked about it was that after going through it, I found out that there was so much stuff I missed that just like you're not gonna know that you can't eat that you can't get this stuff that this is that you can even do this. It's a really good game, ultimately. Oh, okay. I guess I. Yeah, I guess I didn't jump over that. Well, I guess I'm probably gonna die again. Let's keep doing this until we get all our HP back. Or not. Okay, come on! displayed on screen my child is born dot 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 life refilled well we already screwed up this save so no point in not saving over it How am I supposed to react to something's coming? Oh boy. This isn't that hard, ultimately. I can't face the other way, which means that, like, I'm kind of stuck doing this, but... Ultimately, this isn't very hard. Now we're back out here. I want to check something real quick. And yeah, we can't get back in from there. Text is displayed on screen. Teleport to egg corridor. Well, that's a uh, gut punch. It's teleporter, egg corridor, bushland, sand zone. Let's go to the egg corridor. There was a violent explosion all of a sudden. Everything was like this after I came back around. What the heck's going on? Oh, we just can't get that health power-up that was there anymore. So I guess that's a thing that's not happening. 
That's permanently missable now. I want to get this up to level 3. The sooner I get this up to level 3, the sooner I can blaze through everything again. So I guess that's not going to be happening anytime soon, really. Treasure chest missiles up. There's a bit of a buffer for our weapon. Actually, wait a sec. Do I even need to do this? Yeah, I do. explode. I mean, that seems like it was pretty much a given the, the moment the countdown started, but just playing it safe. Okay. All the dead baby dragons, yeah. Well, we're about dead too. Do I get to heal? Treasure chest, max missiles increase. Old breeze, bl oh god. Well, we're fucked. Back through the entire egg corridor. Uh.
Okay. So this time we're not going to die, right? We're going to make it through this area, get whatever it is we're trying to get. And everything will be hunky-dory. Here we go. Max missiles up. Deal with these guys. Actually, Oh wow, that is a big explosion. And we're pretty much dead again, so yeah. I feel like this will be really good against those enemies. had it in one, without getting hit and then right at the end like there's just one that I didn't notice and now I have to go through the entire fucking egg corridor again. Oh this is kind of infuriating. There's no save point in sight. If only I could have taken one more hit, one hit, I would have been fine.
The ultimate issue is that I'm just bad at the game. That's the thing, it's just that I'm really awful at this whole thing when it comes down to it. You got fucking wrecked. Everything's maxed out, so really what I'm looking for, what I'm hoping for now is like HP. Anything that gives me more than no HP is a, is like a massive success in my book. Well, now we can get hit a couple of times. Sword seemed really good against them. Okay. Ultimately, not really all that tough. Defeated the sisters. And we got a save point. Finally. It only took fucking forever. Yeah, but that sword worked really well in that fight. Nothing here. Okay. But let's go to the save room first. And then we'll come in here. Egg zero. Text appears on screen. Incubation successful. Who is over there? Oh, it's you. I didn't know if you were safe or not. I'm the only person here. After you took off to Sand Zone, we sped up preparations for securing an escape. It was then that Misery showed up. Sue was taken away, and Professor Booster, he disappeared somewhere. The doctor has apparently acquired the flower seeds, but I'm not blaming you. The doctor's victory was certain from the moment he acquired the Demon Crown. It's only a matter of time before his Mimica army is ready to attack the surface. 
If that does happen, it'll be futile to try and defeat the doctor, even for you. You have no choice but to run from this place. Anyway, an escape is possible, but only by using a flying dragon. That's why I came here all on my own. For the flying dragon that I need hatched safely. Want to escape with me? I know, it can't be helped. You did your best. Let's just... Get on. Please don't... This is an ending. I know this is an ending. I know this is an ending, but... It's just like... That was how you and Kazuma safely escaped from the island. Soon after, the docker would use his island to destroy flying fortress and strike at the surface. Were the countries of the surface able to withstand the doctor's relentless attacks? That doesn't really matter. After escaping, you and Kazuma live a humble life hidden deep within the safe confines of mountains and out of the doctor's reach. End? So that's the- probably the bad- that's the bad end, yeah. If you say no, I'm pretty sure you can get a better end. You get the- you continue on, you can get the good ending, and then the best ending is if you do, like, a billion things right. Also, I can't do anything here right now. Like, I can't- there's n no buttons are working. So I can't actually close the game. Which is, you know... pretty much just checking to see if if this actually ends or if I just have to actually close the game to get out of this. I'm guessing I just literally can't do anything. I think these are the remastered ones. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's the bad ending. I guess I'm stuck like this now. Stuck in this menu until the end of time. On the bright side, I can't save over. So, I think... I think this might be a good place to stop. And also, I just, uh, on that note, I just checked. Uh, yeah, I have been locked out of getting the best ending. But the reason for it is arbitrary and stupid. For lack of a, for... Like, because I got the booster, a random item that is supposed, that shows up, that you can save the per curly with, doesn't show up because you got this item earlier, and there's no, like, plot relation at all. There's no plot reason that this happens. It just... You, you, if, uh, if you didn't get the booster from, from the Professor Booster, there's just a random rope lying at the bottom of that area that you can use to tie her up and gra drag her with you out of the, out of the water and save her. But... Um... But, well... 
if you get the booster, that item doesn't show up. That's it. There's no... There's absolutely no reason for it to be like that. There's no reason for it that to be tied together in that way. Other than, here's do this stuff in this stupid order or else you're screwed out of getting the best ending and have to redo the entire game. But yeah, this is the bad end. Um, I think... I think I'm gonna switch over to Persona now maybe because I feel like this is a good place to stop for now, but I'm not certain. I could continue on, get the normal ending, but I still feel like, I think I'm only like two-thirds of the way through the game to begin with. I think I still have like three or four areas left anyway. That's pretty much. Well, you, are, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna play Persona Five, you might as well just watch because it's you know, it's a fun game. But anyway, I think yeah, I think I'm gonna switch over to that, and I'm gonna be back in a few minutes.